Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ju Dash Eyes Channel. And it's Wednesday. No pantry today because of Hurricane Milton. And as you can see, we put down the sandbags by the door. Yes. And it's pouring rain over here in Orlando, Florida. It is pouring down rain. But the hurricane is supposed to hit later. And from what they're saying, it's supposed to be really, really dangerous. But like I said before, it's all in God's hands. I hope everyone went out and got their supplies and stuff like that. We have a generator here in case if our electricity go off, we didn't have to evacuate. And my daughter, oh my God, she's an Aquarian and she is totally horrified. You know, she is going ballistic. She's calling me and you know, she's very worried. But, you know, I got the fort I got the fort held down, you know. I'm not afraid of stuff like this, you know. I came through it as a little girl in Barbados and stuff like that. And you know, I have my mindset to, to expect the unexpected. You never know what or how the unexpected is gonna arrive. It could be bad, it could be good, it could be long, it could be short. So you know, my mindset is like that. So I don't worry and stress out over stuff like that. I just pray to the Almighty that He'll keep everything in order where where however it's supposed to be. Um. Yeah, you see the birds are flying and stuff like that. I'm gonna take you guys to the front because it's really pouring down and stuff. One of our neighbors, I think they left. You know, they were packing up yesterday. They from Colombia, you know, but my other, the other neighbors, you know, well, my daughter neighbors, you know, they're here. There's a lot of people right here. You know, we don't really have to run anywhere. We don't get flooded out and stuff like that. But like I said, you just never know. But, you know, we're just chilling. You know, my daughter was telling me, Ma, don't you think maybe y'all should go over to your house? You know, and I'm like, for what? We're fine here. I got the fort down. You know, I'm holding the fort down. We're fine here. Why go over there? We don't have to. And yeah, you know, I went, we went grocery shopping yesterday, me and my granddaughters, you know, I was trying to order stuff through Walmart, but they weren't delivering until Saturday. So I was like, oh, to hell with that. You know, I needed to get some juice up in this piece, this house. So, you know, we went to the big super Walmart close to Kissimmee or in Kissimmee, like the borderline. And, you know, we did a lot of groceries. Um, The bill was $342, you know. But, of course, you know, um, groceries are expensive and stuff. But, you know, we bought, we picked up what we needed. And, of course, you know, the girls, they were all over the store getting their stuff. So, as you can see, you know... They got their snacks and stuff, you know. And of course, I got my extra gum. You know, I always get that. And we got all our stuff right here, you know. We had to get some olive oil. So, you know, I got this one here. This was like, this was $24.99, believe it or not. Um, Oil is expensive, I'm telling you. And, you know, um, I usually pick up stuff that my daughter use. You know, I don't pick up stuff that I use because we have different likes and tastes or whatever. She's an Aquarian. I'm a Sagittarian. November born. You notice I said November born because the December borns are very mean. There's a difference. And you know, I got the Crisco oil. I don't know. I never seen her with it, but I grew up with Crisco oil. You know, we, my mom used to grease our skin with that in Barbados. You know, maybe that's why we have pretty skin. But this one is the butter flavor. And you know, I guess over the years, they, instead of having the regular just alone, they made the butter flavor. So I tried it before. And 
this is a nice big container you know so this will last a long time you can fry stuff with this you can bake stuff with this you know instead of buying the big the big old bottle because the big old bottle one was like 9.99 the vegetable oil then they had the other bottles you know like gallons and stuff like 20 something dollars and stuff like that and i was like i'm not even gonna bother with that because you know my daughter she uses a different oil like i said so i didn't want to go buying a big bottle and then when she come home she probably flip out on me so you know i don't need that aquarium going off on me you know because those aquariums they something else i'm telling you people there's something else they have a mind of their own you can't tell them nothing they know it all you try to correct them they will let you have it you know what i'm saying so mum is the word you know because me i don't want to get flare up over no aquarium i'm telling you because they're nice people but they're hard-headed they'll do what they want to do they're very adventurous and when you give them warnings and stuff it's not that you telling them they can't do that or they can't live their life like that it's because you care you hear this alicia kim i care you're not related to me but i care about you youtuber alicia kim from jamaica that's living in in new jersey i care i read some of the comments from other people and you know some of them were saying what i said and then some you know they 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 mine is elsewhere but i do care that's why i mentioned about being careful wherever you are going out on your adventures you know what i'm saying because y'all are very adventurous y'all don't sit still and when things is bothering y'all y'all just like to roam all over the place instead of just sitting down and getting your head together y'all just have to leave your house or whatever and go taking these long hikes drives or whatever not really thinking about what could happen or what cannot happen so that's why i made the video to you um i hope you didn't get offended but if you did oh well that's your business but mine was out of sincerity you know what i'm saying because i have a daughter you know and my daughter is 44 she looks like 15. i have two granddaughters the oldest is 23 and the youngest just turned 16 and i have a very high concern for them and others so you know take care of yourself also because you do seem like you're coming down with something where you said it you know but your health is very important so you have to take care of that dress warm because you are in new jersey now you know the weather changes up there fast i came from new york i lived there for many years so what i say to you i'm not saying to you out of jealousy or i don't like you or whatever I don't know you from Adam and Eve. I just started watching your videos and I love your videos. I hate to see you hurt, you know, whatever went on with you and your husband, boo, you know, um, the story don't all seem to add up, but I don't know. It's none of my business. I don't care. I'm not getting involved. Like I said, you Aquarians, y'all are big headed. Sometimes you need to come back down to earth and think and get your stuff together you know what i'm saying um so that's all um i was saying anyway be careful out there if you want to be adventurous going all over the goddamn world go right ahead i'm not trying to stop you i'm not trying to put fear in your heart but you have to think about the consequences because you folks, Aquarius, y'all love to just go. And then when something happens, then later on, y'all turn around and say, y'all turn around and come back and then you will be making a video crying. Oh my God, I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have done that. I know Aquarius very well. And, you know, I've been watching you and you seem to have that that same mindset so 
be be happy on your adventures do whatever you want to do whatever i won't be commenting anymore about where or whatever you go or whatever i will just look at your videos and say you look nice or whatever that's all i have to say okay so you enjoy your life um happy adventures so let me get back to my talking now yeah and um you know we bought all this stuff and you know we have water but the water was out oh my god the supermarket didn't have no water at all the water section was empty see i really went to get juices and stuff so i got me some lemonade some welch's grape juice um well that's a passion fruit and of course i got the cranberry you know my granddaughters they love the cranberry juice you know and that's good for women anyway and I got the iced tea and another juice right there. And of course I fed Mr. Hustle and he went to the bathroom. He didn't want to go outside in the rain, but we have a designated area that he uses. So that's what he did. And, you know, I just came out the shower, you know, I have to get myself together, but don't mind my hair. It's a rainy day, who cares? And you know, I got me some eggs, you know. And yeah, you know, look at the refrigerator, it's stock up, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I got the prune juice. I told y'all about the prune juice. I got to have my prune juice. You gotta clean your inside out. And the milk and the orange juice, you know. They only had that size Tropicana, no pulp. The other ones that we usually buy, they didn't have. And you know. Yeah, and we got some, this is the, the butter that my daughter uses, you know. So I got this, and the girls picked up the sour cream because last night we had, um, we had tacos. You know, my granddaughter, Skylar, she made tacos, so that's what we had for dinner. And of course, you see the trays. I have the apples, the limes, the fruits. I tell you, I use a lime. I cut one every morning, and I squeeze the juice out. Add a little, um, got the peppers, tomatoes, you know, we got, our, I had to get my cook ham, you know, I like to make sandwiches with this, and, you know, they got themselves some ice cream, I've never seen this one before, but she said it's good. And I'm not really the ice cream lover like that. And we got the Briars. The Briars was a good price, $4.99. And of course, you know, we keep baking soda. You know, this is good to have in your refrigerator, people. This makes the refrigerator fresh. So you need to keep, you need to pick these up. These are like 99 cents. You need to pick these up and put one in your refrigerator. You can um clean the bathroom with it, the toilet bowl. Like it lasts for like I think 30 days. And like the 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 when when you're done with it, you know, don't throw it out. You can take it and empty the powder inside of the toilet bowl or in the drains, you know, it cleans them and stuff like that. And you know, we got these other stuff right here. You know, the girls, they like this kind of stuff. We'll pay it. And this, you know. And of course, these are the, the Mexican ice cream bars that I told y'all about. You know, they have different flavors. And, you know, this is the mango. This tastes really good. This is the coconut. You'll feel bits of chips of coconut in your mouth when you eat it. This is a strawberry, and this is good, too. So, you know, I picked up a whole box full, and it was like $9.99, you know. Very good price. And we got the fish sticks. Well, I didn't buy these today. And we got some peas and some bacon. Look at this. All this bacon right here, you know. You know, we got a lot of stuff in here, you know sausages and stuff well i didn't buy these yesterday you know 
but we have them, you know, we have food. We got food in the house, you know, so it'll last for a while. These, these right here, these are my daughters, you know. I don't drink anymore. I stopped drinking. That I don't do. I don't drink anymore. I stop. I don't get depressed anymore and all of that stuff where I have to be doing all these things that I have to be doing to my body. And it's good to keep lemon juice too. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And this sauce right here, Worcestershire sauce. I love this. This is great to put in your gravy and stuff like that. Yeah. So now I'm going to take you guys outside. And I will show y'all outside. And as you see, you know, the girls have their little aprons and stuff. You know, they little aprons. This one says Sincerely Sky. Little chefs. And this one say Low Key. Low Key Page. That is cute. And it fits her very well because she's very quiet and low key. And here is another one for Page. Slay Page. And this one fits up perfect, too. Yes. So, you see, my little granddaughters know how to cook and stuff like that. And, you know, like I said before, this stuff right here, this right here is to clean your glass top stove if you have one. This is the clean stuff right here. And where is that? And this right here, this is the to clean the silver, the silver part like this, like this, and like your refrigerator, you just spray it on and you wipe it, and you'll see how clean it is. Cause I've been to some people's houses, and they refrigerators. The outside of it, the silver is so filthy. I can't, I, I can't stand, I cannot stand seeing in the kitchen area, the refrigerator, if it's sil silver, and the stove and the microwave, I cannot stand to see fingerprints on it. You know, I just can't, you know. So people that have, um, these kind of appliances, you know, you can pick this stuff up and clean your stuff off with it. You don't have to put soap or nothing. It cleans it very well. And, um, yeah, and the other refrigerators, too, you know, you don't need to clean it with that. But clean your refrigerators. I've seen some people refrigerators, they white. And the outside of it is filthy, filthy. I don't know how people can keep a dirty kitchen. I just don't know. You need to clean. You see how in here is? We clean. We clean all the time. We are cleaning freaks. Um, these chairs right here, they are usually on the outside, but you know, we're gonna have a hurricane, so I have them in here. I didn't move them from last time because you know I felt like we was gonna get something again. And um Yeah, you know, so that's Mr. Hustle water and the other bowl is for his food and this is his little I call it his little trampoline because it looks like a trampoline and of course you know we keep the shoes on the, uh, on the side you know because the place has a rug in it and stuff like that yeah so you know we're heading outside right now oh shoot wait let me bring this to hustle with me because he's going to be barking like crazy. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be barking like a madman. So I'll just keep this here. Because I'm going to get this thing to cook. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Oh, yeah. And, um, and yeah, I bought... I bought this tissue, this um, paper towel right here, 36, this big pack right here. 
believe it or not, this was like, I think 27, 25 to $27. And this was the last one. It was open, but I took it, you know, cause nothing was removed from it. But this one here, 36. So this lasts for a long time. And you know, the other day I had ordered some toilet tissue. Well, I can't show you right now because we have Skyler's car in the garage, you know, from the hurricane. But oh, there, there go the toilet tissue, the Scott toilet tissue. I ordered that from Amazon, but I won't be doing it again because they're small. They're not as big as the usual ones that I usually get. So next time I'll just go right to the grocery store and pick it up, you know, but there's a lot in there. So we'll use it anyway. Yep. So, you know, let me put this thing on Mr. Hustle so we can go outside. Come on, buddy. Come on, my buddy, my best friend in the whole wide world. He wants to go home. I'm not going to walk him outside because it's wet and he doesn't like to get wet. But I'm just going to take him outside for a little bit. School is out. Kids don't have to go back to school until Tuesday. And my granddaughters are still in their bed. They're sleeping, you know. They stay in bed late when they don't have to go anywhere or do anything. You know what I'm saying? Look, it's slowed down. It's not raining now. It's slowed down. But the big... Mr. Milton is coming later. Yep, so look at it. Look at outside, it's cloudy. See the water just dripping down. Yeah, my my daughter's neighbors right here, you know, they left. They have um the wife, you know, she has a mother. She's elderly and and I don't know if the man is her father, but you know, he one of his arms is missing. So I guess maybe that's where they went. I don't know. They have a lot of family. You know how Spanish people, they have a lot of family. So maybe that's where they went. But they're very nice people. And over here, the next two houses away, you know, um, there's an army veteran there, young guy. You know, he said to, he's Spanish. He said to me yesterday, are you ready? Are you ready for the hurricane? I was like, you know, we do what we got to do. Yeah, but they here. Him and his family is here. You know, there's a lot of people here. Nobody is leaving. You know, we don't have to evacuate, you know. The people that run this place, they would have told us if we had to. And they didn't last time or the time before. Or the time before so you know I see someone over there walking their dog they have on their raincoat but it's very quiet over here you know what I'm saying yeah so I would get to go to my house today because it's a hurricane there's no need to go over there because everything is safe we have security we have a sheriff that's the security in our building you know everything is safe Everyone over there is protected. And they have a generator if the lights go out and stuff like that. So here goes someone that's walking their dog. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And over there where I live, I, you know, it don't get flooded either. It's a nice area and it's close to downtown. It's close to everything. That's why I love over there. Over here is nice too, but it's too dead for me. And the stores are far. Yeah. But other than that, everything is fine. You know what I'm saying? Everything is just fine. So I just want to say 
I will get back to you guys later when Mr. Hilton, when Mr. Milton, excuse me, hit Florida. Let's let's just hope he's not as dangerous as the media is saying. You know what I'm saying? Cause the media tends to go overboard with stuff sometimes. Yes, they had a lot of flooding and a lot of people died and all that kind of stuff, but they were in areas where it's surrounded by water, you know, the beach, the ocean, whatever you want to call it, the lakes and stuff like that, but not everywhere in Florida get destroyed by these hurricanes, not everywhere. Because people are calling me from New York. Are you all right? Are you all right? Um, do y did y'all leave? Did y'all evacuate? All this kind of stuff. You know, they said it was going to hit Tampa really hard. Well, Tampa is right there in the heart where everything happens. You know what I'm saying? When I say everything, like when the hurricanes and stuff come. Because it's surrounded by water. So, what do you expect? It's a nice place. Ebor City. It's a nice place to visit, like I said, but I wouldn't want to live there. Not because of hurricanes, but I just don't like Tampa. I just don't. Just to visit. Um, but other than that, I, I love Orlando. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I was watching this, um, this realtor on YouTube. I never seen him before. This is my first time. African American guy. I guess he's African American. He's black. So you know, he was telling about. I think it was ten or twelve things. If 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 you. If you want to move to Florida, it's twelve things that you should be aware of. So you know, he was showing. You know the wildlife, like snakes and alligators and stuff like that. People, you don't have to be afraid of moving to Florida because of wildlife because the wildlife is not like right here in your in your face the wildlife is not right here you know what I'm saying like where I'm at there's no wildlife you know yeah once in a blue moon you might see a little garden snake or something like that since I've been over here I only saw one and it was dead in the street somebody ran over it but I haven't seen any and in the area where I live, I saw three, but three different occasions. And they were in the bushes, you know what I'm saying? And me, as a curious person, I'm always looking around because I'm always looking for these things. I didn't go shaking up the bushes looking for the snakes, you know. I, I'm, when I'm walking, I'm always looking, you know. I'm always being aware of my surroundings. You have to be aware of your surroundings, people. Not just for snakes or alligators, for man, woman, for man, for humankind. You have to be aware. It's a lot of human trafficking going on out here. People are taking your body parts and selling them. They grabbing you and cutting them out. They might not want me. I'm too old. But the young folks, prime targets. So you have to be very aware of your surroundings. Yeah, so... You know, yeah, in, in some areas, you know, you will find all that wildlife like Sarasota and these kind of different places in Florida. But, you know, here in Orlando, you, you, you might see them. You might. And, of course, they have the alligators. But, you know, you don't really see no damn alligator crawling around on the street over here. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to say. Not everywhere in Florida is fluctuated with these, with the wildlife like that. So, you know, don't let people deter you from moving to Florida or wherever you want to move. Then he was talking about the real estate. Yeah, of course, the prices is going up. But if you want to move to Florida, that's your choice. You know what I'm saying? You come down here, you visit. And if you like it, you get yourself an apartment. If you can afford a house, go get in the house. Go get a house. But you have to be careful with the realtors because they trying to be slick and stuff like that. Anyway, then he was talking about the hurricanes and stuff like that. Yeah, hurricanes is everywhere. Hurricanes is everywhere in on the islands and stuff like that. So don't let 
that deter you from moving down here either. You might not even get, you might, they have people that live in here for years and, and they never lost nothing. You know what I'm saying? So don't let people deter you from that either. And I forgot what else he was talking about. He was talking about some of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't knock him for talking, but this is like the third person that was talking like this. And you know me, I made a comment to them and I was like, well, why are you still living here? You making all these, you telling people about all of this stuff, don't move here because of this and that. If you don't, you know, why are you still here? Because he still live here. He lives here. And he was talking about the heat because he's a coach or something like that. So, you know, when the weather reach a certain temperature, I think 90 degrees or something, they don't have, they don't have the, the, um, they don't have the guys and the girls playing their games or whatever. Who the heck is going to have they, they, they male, female out there playing in such weather anyway. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be playing in hot weather like that. So come on now. So if you want to move to Florida where you want to move to, move. Don't listen to people. People will deter you. They will deter you. Because I live in New York for, for, for many years. But I would tell nobody not to move to New York. It's bad and it's getting worse and it's very expensive. But if that's what they want to do, be my guest. I'm not going to tell them not to move there. I would tell them, yeah, it's, you have to be careful over there and everything. Like you have to be careful everywhere. And the prices are high, like a lot of places. But it's a beautiful city. It's just that I had a lot of history there. Some of it wasn't good. So I don't feel like being reminded of history, especially when it wasn't good. Because when I go back there, I'm going to go to places where stuff happened. And here go the anxiety and all that kind of stuff. And I don't need that. So I don't want to move back to New York to live. Maybe to visit, like I said in a prior video, if something is worth my time going. But other than that, no, I don't want to go back there to live. I love here. It's so peaceful here. I have a peace of mind. I can breathe. The anxiety I don't get anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm not afraid to eat. I can eat and not feeling like I'm going to throw up or or just eat a little bit and I don't want to eat. You know what I'm saying? Depressed, all of that. I don't get none of that anymore. I'm dead serious. So if you want to move to Florida or wherever the heck you want to move to, go check, the, go check it out and you decide. Do what you got to do in the home where you at and then pack your bags, get on that damn airplane you can ship your stuff through to U Haul, but I'm telling you, it's costly. Like four thousand and better to move your shit, and you might not get it the same time when you get there. You have to wait or whatever. Anyway, like I said, pack your bags and say bon voyage to wherever you are at, and keep it moving, and you will have a good life. I'm telling you. So this is J.U. Dash I saying peace out for now. I will get back to you when Mr. Hilton hit Florida to let y'all see what is going on with me and my surroundings. So have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe.